So was your mother, were your mother and father Baptist per se? How religious were they? They were both Baptists. Okay. Uh, as far as I know. Now in that community, was there anything else? Other than Baptist. Mm -hmm. Methodist. Methodist, those two things, yeah. It was, um, what kind of Methodist was that? I don't think it was anything. It was a regular Methodist during that time period in Arkansas. Uh -huh. It's Methodist, all we know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And did they take you to church a lot? Yeah, we went to church early on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Like Sunday school, mm -hmm. afternoon service. Now, you were the middle child? or was Who was there when you, were, when you came along? I was the tenth child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how was it? Yeah. How was it having so many siblings? It was. Uh, I, I guess I didn't know it, but I thought it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> but it, we always had someone. When actually, we were raised really like two families was raised together. But, you know, Florida and mm -hmm. they always lived. They started out my parents. My dad and that 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 father was our brother. I mean, he they were brothers. So Uncle Brown, Brown Burrell. Yeah, Uncle Brown and Dad. They kind of followed each other footsteps. So when Dad got his place, moved out on the road. <laughs> the Uncle Brown bought a house across the road, and he had his family. And we were all really kind of brought up together. So you had 13, there were 13 children in your family, and, and how many in theirs? Ten. Ten. Yeah. So 23 kids in two houses. <laughs> did you guys, did you feel like you guys each got, like, equal treatment? Yeah, I don't know, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. I think so. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people might say different, but as far as I'm concerned, what I can see, I don't think anyone was treated any different than the other. What yeah. might other people say? Uh, other people? I really wouldn't want to repeat that because I didn't hear none, not no. much of that until they recently. Mm -hmm. no. and I never heard that before in my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and really. Now, some of you grew up in that house and some of you grew up elsewhere? Yeah. Well, as we grew up, uh, people came, they helped you take care of your children. And they would come on, you know, people didn't have, like Mama had babies, and older people, or her friends would come, and she had babies, they had to take care of them. And then, uh, you know, sometimes they would take them home with them to give her a break. Mm -hmm. So a couple of them got taken home, and the people didn't want to bring them back. And really, Centuria is one that they never did bring them back. She'd come back and stay with us, but we all still lived in the same area. That's where they were raised. And then they they ended up, uh, Red and Abbott ended up keeping Tori. Red was two brothers, like Dad and Uncle Brown. You guys might remember them. But they they were just like brothers with my bro my, my parents. So they, they took uh, Tori and kept her. Matter of fact, that little fight, you know, first of all, <laughs> when somebody, cousin they have another cousin wanted her, and she carried all to Texas. <laughs> and all they had a big mess to bring her back, but she did come back and she stayed with us a while, and then she went back and stayed with Red and Abba. And they cut that wide, they both had wives. Elder, you know, cousin Beer. So anyway, we, we did. I think we were comparatively happy folk. I don't remember really not being <laughs> in need of stuff. I'm, I'm sure at one point we did need stuff, you know, that maybe we didn't get. But overall, I think basically our, our, our life wasn't that bad. We had, we had to pick cotton, we had to dig potatoes and plant potatoes mm -hmm. and all of that. And they had, my dad had his own farm, had his own ponds, mm -hmm. and we weren't too far from a lake, mm -hmm. with a creek, which they call a bottle. 
and we would swim there, and that would be where they would bury. I mean, uh, baptize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, where'd you go to high school? I went to high school in Jeff, Jefferson High School. I moved to California in 1943, and I went to uh, John Adams as a semester. John Adams was at middle school, junior high school? Junior high. Mm -hmm. and it was on uh, like 28th, 30th, and Broadway. Over there. And then uh, I transferred to, we moved to the uh, east side, 29th Street. And Central, at that time, there was a going area for black people. Black people didn't have as much as we have now. It was kind of restricted areas that we were in. And then, uh, but the school was still mixed. Uh, so we moved to, like, the east side of Los Angeles, but it was a different uh, mix of kids, Mexicans and Blacks, mainly, at, at uh, what was it? Adams and Jeff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jimmy. I just lost, I just lost John Adams Middle School? No, down on 14. Lafayette? Yeah, mm -hmm. that was it. Lafayette mm -hmm. Junior High. Mm -hmm. And it was on 14th Street. And then from there I went to Jefferson. Then from Jefferson I went to duty school. When I did hair for about in 1949, I uh, started doing hair, and I did about 16, 17 years. And then I went into real estate. Hmm. And did not much. So <laughs> tell us about Sherry's Beauty Bar. Oh, yeah, well, I, I, did, <laughs> I had owned a uh, shop uh, at 79th and Weston, hmm. where I had uh, you know, Spoel operators and myself and then. I, I decided to leave that and go to real estate. And that, it, wasn't, it wasn't a bad idea, but it wasn't the best idea I ever had <laughs> to venture out on the, that end of it. You guys used to have a hamburger stand mm -hmm. on Slauson and what, Fifth Avenue. Mm -hmm. Grand, Mommy and Daddy? No. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Uh, okay. No, we had a, what was that, we went in with somebody and got a bar? Yeah, it was kind of like a bar thing, a friend of ours, um, and we invested in it. Which, it, you know, it went, you did all right, right for a while, but that partnership doesn't work out too well. So then the, that part, it was the time when we uh, get a little bit and we started out with weeds and stuff. And what were they doing then? <laughs> what dance were they doing? Mm. Uh, I can't remember. But anyway, that only lasted a short period of time. Mm. And then, you know, who Who were your favorite? What was the music that you liked? Oh, uh, blues and blues. Uh, uh, religious songs. Okay. Uh, who was <laughs> I can't think of nobody's name. No. Mm -hmm. From Billy Holiday? No, no. Billy Holiday. He's a blues singer? Uh, or blues a singer. Male or female? It was male. Bessie Smith? Uh, Jane Mathis kind of came along. Jane Mathis? Mathis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it too. Okay. And, and Nancy Wilson during her time. She was good. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to remember those two that we really used to hmm. get down with. Sam, <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam Cook. Uh, those, uh, Tab Cook. And, Jackie Wilson. Well, you know, we had, when we came up, really early ages, Ross Snyder, that's a park over here now, they said black people can not hardly go to. That's over on 43rd. And that was a really a good thing for us because they'd have uh, recreation, they had uh, parties. Dancing thing almost every weekend. Everybody be going to Ross Snyder's, and it was a fun day. Mm. And you don't know, like now, you, you can't go hard to go. I don't think. Yeah, dangerous, yeah. Uh, you couldn't go, you know, set up like that. Yeah. But it was like fun times, I think. Mm. 
much different from what it is now. Gotcha. No. Well, that's great for um, part uh, one. We'll continue.